Yeah. You know where I'm going to be tonight. <laughs> yeah. Good luck for with that. An hour and a half, <laughs> sitting there trying to figure it out. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah. Good times. Good times for sure. <laughs> so, um, yes. weather word. Back oh, back to that? Today. Yeah. yeah, back to the weather what? word. And That's so... I'm trying to think college. Yes. Okay. It's got to be college related. And I started uh -huh. thinking back to my college okay. days. Okay. Do you want to go there? There's a lot of ways that can go. Oh, oh, come on, hit me out. <laughs> yeah. We're going with all nighter. Remember the all nighter? Wow. Remember all that? nighter. Okay. All nighter. I, I know it's a had, hyphenated I just word. I had one last weekend. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, my friend. All nighter. I think I can knock that out. I bet you can. Easily. Okay. Well, right now. We're tracking some clouds. We're tracking some <laughs> uh, foggy conditions. Yeah, uh, big surprise there, right? But again, we have high pressure that's going to be tracking in our direction. And I just want to freeze here over the past couple of hours. Check this out. Wow, some clearing already showing up just to the west of the viewing area, and that's going to be trending in our direction, all thanks to this high pressure that's going to be an all-nighter for us as we wrap up the overnight hours, clearing, trying to clear out our skies, but cloudy skies are going to be building because of this next area of disturbed weather that's going to be diving down across the Great Lakes and giving us another push of cooler temperatures and yes, possibly squeezing out some rain and snow showers for parts of the area for late into the day Thursday and early Friday. Right now, again, cloud skies, cloudy skies, reduced visibility, although things have improved significantly for your five o'clock rush hour. This is I-90, I-77, 38 degrees. We're looking at mostly cloudy skies with a southwest breeze of nine miles an hour. So the southwest winds, all thanks to that high pressure again, that's going to be working in our direction, clearing skies as we approach lunchtime tomorrow. Although I'm thinking more partly cloudy than clearing, this is not going to be the main event where we start to see a little bit more uh, sunny conditions. But the southwest winds are going to be remaining in play and it's going to be interfering with our next cold front causing a little bit more lift, isolated in nature, but rain chances are going to be possible around Tomorrow evening, not everyone, then a north breeze is going to be flowing across the lake, so a brief chance of maybe some lake effect rain and snow showers. This is Friday morning pre-done, then we clear it out by Friday morning into the early afternoon with a north breeze and temperatures starting in the upper 20s. It's going to be a cold start for your Friday morning. Upper 40s, so up and down temperatures, yes, that's possible throughout the next 24 hours, mostly cloudy skies with a small chance of rain and snow. Then Friday, we start to talk about more clearing skies and more warmer conditions for this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. You love to see it, right? Upper 30s, that's our average high temperature. We're going to be flying high for the next three days. And folks, it's been over six weeks since the last fully sunny day, December 15th. It's been way too long. And as we look ahead with our National Design Mart uh, big picture forecast, this is Saturday, sunny day number one, sunny day number two for Sunday. And we could see a three-peat for Monday, for sunny skies. Here's your Union Home Mortgage seven day forecast. Groundhog's Day. Mm, I wonder what he's going to be saying for Friday. Uh, we're looking at mid to upper 40s, sunny skies on the way as we head beyond this weekend, remaining above average.